Fazbear Tycoon is an up and coming Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that seriously needs more attention. Everything from the graphics, story, and gameplay looks super promising. So today, I wanted to go over the game drill page and just talk about some of the things we've been shown so far regarding the game. There are tons of teasers spanning over two years back, so make sure you stick around to see some of the awesome things the developer has shown off so far. Also comment down below which animatronic you think looks the coolest. Anyways, to start off this breakdown, I want to quickly read over this post which goes over the story and content of the game. But before we do that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Now if you have ever heard of Raid Shadow Legends before, then you know it has a ton of champions, with the number being over 600 now. But what you may not have heard about is its insane variety of bosses too. My personal favorite is Hellraiser the Dragon, who you may know from the opening cutscene for Raid and as an occupant of the Dragon's Lair dungeon. To defeat this absolute beast of a boss, you will need to use his own move against him, striking him when he prepares to breathe on you. Bringing champions that clear debuffs is also a smart idea, as Hellraiser will put out a lot of decrease attacks and poison debuffs. There is also a ton happening in Raid this month. They are bringing out 5 sick looking new champions, overhauling the champion vault, and they've also got a load of smaller updates coming as well. On top of that, Raid is running a huge series of summer splash events for the whole month, where you can get your hands on some incredible skins for the dwarf Trunda. But wait, there is more. Raid's currently running a special Deliana chase event where you can get your hands on the amazing Deliana, a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction. Just by logging in, all you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 28th and you'll get Deliana for free. She is also one of the strongest support champions in the game, so you do not want to miss out on her. And the gifts just keep on coming. All new raid players. Once you are in the game, just enter the promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything. Get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. This is the best time to get started in raid. And if you use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen, you will be rewarded with unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking about the free epic champion Torel, 200 K silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get the game. With all of this treasure waiting for you right here. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring, now let's get back to the video. So first off here we have the description of the story that reads, Fazbear Entertainment has recently put up a job listing for a brand new franchise manager. With a dream and some cash, now it's your time to shine. Liven up the building with brand new decorations and animatronics, serve up food and entertainment, and manage employees and business to create an experience like no other, one that your patrons will be sure to never forget for the rest of their lives. So as we can see from this small description of the story, it will be taking a similar approach to Five Nights at Freddy's 6, where we will actually be a manager of the establishment, opposed to just being somebody who works there. The other section of the post labeled contents reads, Build the pizzeria of your dreams. Turn your little shack into a massive entertainment center filled with fun and excitement for people of all ages. Add animatronics, menu items, attractions, and more to truly turn your restaurant into the place where fantasy and fun come to life. Classic gameplay with some new twists. Enjoy a complex and rich tycoon with many animatronic characters, items, employees, and much more to choose from and manage. With rich gameplay mechanics that add new and interesting elements to the traditional tycoon experience. Then, find yourself in classic sit and survive situations where the characters you've bought come to life. And it's up to you to make it to the morning and continue your business endeavors. Discover brand new lore. Things are not as they seem. Dark, grisly secrets lie under the friendly face of Fazbear Entertainment. The question is, are you prepared to seek the truth? No, Fazbear Entertainment does not condone any spread of misinformation about the Fazbear brand, nor can it confirm or deny any validity of these statements. Now this section of the post basically confirms that the game will be very similar to FNAF 6 by maintaining the tycoon sections. However, something very interesting about this game is that it is actually going to be endless. During a Q&A that the developer did on the Game Jolt page about 2 months ago, somebody asked, how long is the game going to be? 
to which the developer responded, endless, but you can get endings when you have the right requirements, which is just so cool. In FNAF 6, the tycoon sections, while cool, always felt a little bit useless to me, because there was no real incentive to try and make the best pizzeria you could, other than the score you can see at the end of the game. But now with the game being endless, there will be more of a reason to actually try to build your pizzeria to your liking. Also through the Q&A, we learned a lot of other cool information, such as the fact that the salvage sections would be returning, just under a new name. A few other bits of information I pulled out of the Q&A is that each animatronic will have their own unique mechanics and voice lines, which I am very excited about. It's very ambitious for a game with so many different animatronics to feature voice actors for every single one, so I'm very interested in seeing how the team pulls this off. The game will feature its own lore and take place after Five Nights at Freddy's 6. This is also something that gets me super excited as I always tend to like fan games more when the story is connected to the original story. I also really like that it is taking place after FNAF 6 because I always hated where the series went with the lore after Pizzeria Sim and to see another person's take on what comes next in the story is super exciting to me. Other than this, there are also tons of teaser images, and I'm not kidding when I say that. I swear there has to be like over 200. So instead of slowly going through every single one, I decided to pick out a few which were the most interesting to me to talk about, and the rest you guys can check out on the Game Joel page for yourself with the link down below. The first image which I think looks really cool is this one right here which according to the caption on the post is one of the salvage sections in the game. It looks like we will be completing tasks on this little computer screen opposed to the typical notepad we are used to seeing in Pizzeria Simulator. And I'm very interested in how this section will build tension as I don't know if anything can be as scary as sitting right in front of the animatronic with only a table between you. But I'm very eager to find out how it's executed so this one has me really excited. Another one I found really interesting is this Cyclops endoskeleton that has the text reading, I think, therefore I am. This one stood out to me a lot because not only is it an original character to this game, but it also makes me wonder, what animatronic would use an endoskeleton with just one eye? Also the way the endoskeleton hangs from the ceiling reminds me a lot of GLaDOS from Portal, which a lot of people in the comments also agreed with. There's also this footage right here which shows us the office and just wow. This has to be one of the best looking offices I have seen in a fan game. One interesting thing to note about this office is that you can actually look upwards, which I have seen in a few fan games before, but it is still really cool to me. I'm assuming that the endoskeleton in the previous teaser and possibly Mangle will be up there, and it's just going to be so scary looking up and seeing them above us. We are also equipped with a flashlight and some sort of flashing ability we can do towards the ceiling, along with a camera and its various mechanics, such as a shocker charger, alarm, connection reset, power charge, and vent camera shock. I also really like how we have two monitors in this office, which is how we see through the cameras. I think that's just really cool. Another teaser that I wanted to show you guys is this one right here, which lets us see the various different animatronics in the game, along with the difficulty setting and descriptions for the characters. Now there are a few placeholders here along with some blurred out pictures, but from how many boxes there are, I can already tell that there is going to be a ton of animatronics in the game. This is looking like it's going to be one of the most ambitious fan games thus far. Also this teaser hints towards there being a custom night because I don't really think there would be a screen like this for the tycoon section. Lastly, I want to just go over some of the animatronic designs because I seriously think that this game has some of the best looking ones I've ever seen. They are just so creative and cool looking. The first one that stood out to me a lot is this Fredbear one. I love that he has a cigar in his mouth. It really does make it feel like this animatronic was from back in the day and also the fur on his suit just makes it look really realistic. The puppet and phantom puppet designs were also two that stood out to me a lot. Now this might be a hot take, I'm not really sure, but I've always disliked the original puppet design. My main issue with it was that it never really made sense to me how it could be so skinny yet still have an endoskeleton inside of it. There might be an explanation for this somewhere, so if I'm wrong just let me know down below. But with this new design, it's just a lot more realistic and believable. It's also just a lot cooler in my opinion. Another one that's extremely cool is Lefties, and while not being the most realistic or believable animatronic, I think it does a great job of capturing Lefties' coolest element, which was the fact that the puppet was inside of it. This really does seem like a mixture of a Freddy animatronic and a puppet, and with all the neon lights on him, it makes him stand out a lot amongst the cast of animatronics. 
There is also going to be a few characters from other fan games making a cameo, such as Grizzly and even Candy. And Candy's model in particular just looks so good in my opinion. I love that you can see where all his joints are, and the shiny plastic look suits him so well. This is honestly my favorite design for Candy, even beating out the ones from the official games. Anyways, that was just a few things that stood out to me from this up and coming Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. If you guys are interested, I highly recommend going to the Game Jolt page and checking it out as well as giving it a follow. Like I said, there are hundreds of posts detailing various aspects of this game which just need more attention. Also again, let me know down below which animatronic you think is the coolest. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.